this is not a professional production, and these people have just uh, read through this script right now. I want to make everybody aware that Raymond Bobgan had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's 1981, and Cleveland native James Levin returns from New York to create real, like I mean real theater, man. None of this show tune, kick your legs in the air, hooray for all of us theater. Fire freaking out, man. I'm like digging this scene. West 65th in Detroit, man, it's where it's at. <laughs> the Cleveland Public Theater's first production was nearly rained out, and the play was inside the theater. Fire out, man. It's like nature coming through the rafters. Raindrops keep falling on my freaking head, man. They just keep falling. For years, Levin produces cutting-edge avant-garde plays. Some so avant-garde, he didn't even understand them. I gotta fix that roof, man. <laughs> Punk rockers, porn stars, bikers. They were all welcome at West 65th in Detroit. You see, Levin had this vision, a sometimes blurry vision, but he saw a world in 3D without the glasses. The idea was to bring art that makes you think to a neighborhood, and that the art itself could be a catalyst for neighborhood revitalization. He founded CPT at West 65th and Detroit because he had a vision of an arts district. Fortunately, Ray Pianca was thinking the same thing at the same time. He was the first executive director of the Detroit Shoreway Community Development Organization. You know, the one headed by Jeff Ramsey right now. He saw the same vision, but without all the strobe lights and flashbacks. What's a Ray Pianca? Uh, that would be me. You're a Pianca? Sounds like something I should hit with a stick in the at a backyard party. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about creating an arts district. Yeah, man, I like the sound of that. When do we start? Well, we have to raise some money to completely renovate this area, change it into a vibrant part of the city with streetscapes and outside dining and theater. I'll work on that. You work on your theater thingy. We need to get everyone together. We, we need someone who's got pizzazz, panache, flash and dance, a boa, and, and big hair, really big hair. I'm Stephanie. You can call me the Miss Divine Morrison, or Miss Divine M for short. The young and old folks in our near west neighborhood were split. The theater venture started so to heal this awful rift. Dance, song, and story would provide a healing path and help us find our way, even yet today. <laughs> Stephanie Morrison Herbeck ran the Near West Theater that started 32 years ago, getting kids off the street and ended up creating an organization that changes kids' lives by mixing all kinds of talented people and turning out the most brilliant musicals this side of Broadway. She needed a true home for the theater after performing for more than 30 years in a hot as Hades third floor walk up. It was all blood, sweat, and tears. So, Stephanie joins James Levin and Ray Pianca in the pursuit of creating an arts district by promising she will locate the Near West Theater's new home in Gordon Square at West 67th Street. Time passes. Jeff Ramsey replaces Ray Pianca, Detroit Shoreway. <laughs> I argue here and elsewhere that the only effective source of innovation is pissed off people. <laughs> <laughs> the Indians don't win the World Series. The Browns leave, the Browns come back again. LeBron joins the Cavs, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. We don't even want to think about him right now. Raymond Bobkin replaces James Levin at Cleveland Public Theater. Yeah, this, this rain, uh, this water coming in from the roof is uh, interesting. I could write a play about that. James becomes the first director of the Gordon Square Arts District and then replaces himself with the intern. Wow, I thought running a theater, a theater with no heat, no air conditioning, and a leafy roof was tough. But this arts district stuff, it's hard. Wait, I have another vision. 
It's inventive. It's ingenious. It's ingenuity. It won't cost me a nickel. I gotta get an intern. Did you say intern? <laughs> yeah, who are you? I'm every woman. I'm Ms. Been There, Done That. This and that. A little this, a little that. I've produced TV shows with everyone from Bill Clinton to Little Richard. And I can tell, of, tell you, one of them did inhale. And I've lived in all of the hot spots. Boston, Philly, New York, LA, and I have a degree from Harvard Divinity School, and I've just come from Manhattan, and I'm going to CSU Law School. That makes no sense. You're hired. <laughs> this is now 2006. Things start happening. Councilman Matt Zone took Joy Roller under his wing, introducing her to the tricky business of economic development. She learned fast that it's two parts begging and one part arm twisting. Matt knew everyone, or was related to everyone in this community. His family was intimately involved with the neighborhood. Hey, wow, this is amazing. Hey, there's my sister's nephew's ex-wife over there. That's my brother-in-law's cousin over there. You know, I actually was conceived in that theater. Yeah, absolutely, in the Capitol Theater. Row B, seat nine, during the, during the intermission of the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. Joy turned out okay. A great board of directors was formed, and three of the biggest names in Cleveland agreed to chair the fundraising campaign. Along the way, there were meetings, lots and lots of meetings. Okay. So now that some funds are coming in... Wait, 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 we'll use them to finish the Capitol Theater. But I've got six <laughs> roofs that need replacing. But I, we need know, to we take care of the parking lot behind uh, Where was I? Oh, yes. After countless meetings, differences of opinion... With this recession, we really should be working on our theater. <laughs> Shouting, crying jags, stepping in doggy doo-doo in Joy's office. A major recession. We can declare that the future looks bright in Gordon Square. The Capitol Theater is open. The streetscape looks great. We've got new parking lots. Cleveland Public Theater has new roofs and stabilized its century-old buildings. And near West Theater, it's coming with all these people that have anything to do with it. Well, there you have it, Gordon Square Arts District. Unvarnished, unshaven, uncut. It's like watching a Lady Gaga concert. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the day.